hey guys, in this video I'm going to be explaining the chemistry behind London Forces, also known as instantaneous induced dipoles. Um, the exam boards love asking this as a question, so it's really, really worth spending the time getting your head around this um, if you want to do well in your exams. Don't forget this is part of a long playlist and there's a workbook to go with it, which you can get over on my website. Here is chlorine. Both of these are equally as electronegative as each other. So our pair of electrons, our bonds, sit quite happily in the middle. And that the electron cloud is evenly distributed around these two elements. Now if we have our two nuclei here for chlorine and chlorine, and imagine the chocolate are the electrons, they are going to be wiggling around in that electron cloud happily, evenly, all over the place. Until all of a sudden, with no apparent warning, there's going to be a shift. And then we're going to get a dipole and all of the electrons are going to have shifted to one side. So our electron cloud isn't evenly distributed anymore it is going to be massively shifted to one side. And because we know electrons are negative, this is going to set up a dipole. So one end is going to be negative and the other end is going to be positive. I want you to take a second and try and imagine you're a cloud of chlorine gas, sitting there serenely, nicely, happily getting on with everyone around you. And then all of a sudden, with absolutely no warning at all, one of the uh, chlorines in the middle forms a dipole. Just no warning at all, a dipole has formed. This is our instantaneous dipole. Now, if you're the chlorine sitting next to this instantaneous dipole, you're going to freak out a little bit because it's become polarised all of a sudden. And what you are going to do is form an induced dipole. So the chlorine next to the one that was positive is going to all of a sudden become negative, forcing that one to become positive, that one to become negative, that one to become positive, that one to become positive, that one to become negative... And so quickly, this induced dipole is going to spread through the entire cloud. And in between all of these positives and negatives, we are going to start to get attractions. These attractions are incredibly, incredibly weak. They are the weakest of all the intermolecular forces that we talk about. These are London dispersion forces or instantaneous induced dipoles. Because instantaneous induced dipoles are solely reliant on the electron cloud, as we get an increasing number of electrons, our boiling point is also going to increase as well. This is because the more the electrons, the more electrons are going to be involved in the instantaneous induced dipoles, the greater the attraction between um, molecules, between compounds, the greater the attraction, the more energy is going to be needed to overcome them, the more energy, the higher the boiling point.